هاي كيفكم ان شاء الله بخير I'm so excited and عندي live اليوم مع إيفان from the beauty sandwich كيفكم ان شاء الله بخير I have a live ان شاء الله today مع إيفان من the beauty sandwich صراحة مرة متحمسة لأنه فعلا هذا اللقاء صار لي فترة قاعدة أرتبه أي أحد عنده اهتمام بموضوع البشرة الاهتمام بالبشرة clean skin و clean beauty non toxic beauty هو الشخص اللي موجود هيز ون اوف ذا بيجست سيلبرتي فيشلست ان لوس انجلوس ومتحمسه نشارك معاكم هذا اللقاء استنى بس انه هو يجي اذا عندكم اي اهتمام بالبشره اني ونا نو مور اباوت سكين اند هاو تو تيك كير اوف يور سكين اند ذا بروسيجر اند بروسيس ذات هي يوزز فور كلين اند جلوي سكين ايفان ويل بي وذ اس سون خليني اشوف دحين يدخل هو بتوقيت لوس انجلوس خليني ارسل له ارسل له انه انا ايم اون اتمنى تعجبكم ال... يعجبكم ال... I wanna ask you yes I am a real Saudi just got on هاي ديما كيفك والله شكرا thank you والله افكر اجي الخبر ليش لا؟ ان شاء الله اذا في فرصة قريبة او شغل ليش لا؟ لا يات اوكي والله تمام انتوا ايش اخباركم؟ فاحنا ننتظر يجي انا من السعودية وكثير عندي زي ما قلت لكم اليوم اللايف هيكون عن الاهتمام بالبشرة و a new way of فكرة خلينا نحكي لكم شوية عنه هو فكرته كلها لانه اللقاء يكون بالانجليزي انه كيف تقدروا تحافظوا على بشره كويسه من دون ما تعملوا اي عمليات تجميل او بوتوكس وفيلرز. فالحلو في الموضوع انه هو هيز هير. انه وعنده بديل فدحين اللقاء بالانجليزي وانا بعدين اترجم لكم بالعربي. هاي هاي هاو ار يو؟ ام جود هاو ار يو؟ ام جود ام اكشلي جست لوكينج يور سكين رايت ناو. It's even better than uh, pictures. <laughs> How Thanks. are you? I'm good. Uh, I, I chose I'm you on so a very good. intense day, election day. Yes, it's election day here. I've got my um, red and uh, my red and blue on today. So. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to ask you who are you voting for because I think I have a feeling I know. <laughs> Let's talk about beauty, and <laughs> not about politics. <laughs> exactly. Um, well, thank you for being on my live. Uh, I really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You're actually, you have a very big following in the Middle East, as you know. Do I? You do, you do. Because honestly, uh, I've been, when, I, when I posted about you today, and you cannot imagine the amount of messages I got. But I don't think you realize it on your account. People I know don't, you, I don't realize people. it. I'm, 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 I'm very excited to hear that. Uh, so basically, I've been reading about you. I know you started, off with, um, you started off with makeup, and then you switched your career after 10 years in the beauty industry to actually cre- create your beauty sandwich method. Yeah. Which is so interesting because um, it's like infrared and it's radio frequency. So tell me more about this and how. You, tell me. Let's start. Uh, let's start off with how you start into this business. And- how I started. Okay. Well, first of all, I, I want to say thank you for having me on thank on you. this morning. You're so beautiful. So thank you. <laughs> when you, uh, you know, when you sent your, you know, when we spoke, I'm like, of course, I would love to do this with you. Um, but a little bit about me. So I've been in this industry for about 20 years. Um, coming, coming on my anniversary soon. Um, I started in the cosmetic and makeup artistry world. I worked predominantly in fashion in New York uh, for clients like Michael Kors, Ralph Lauren. Um, and then I switched over to celebrity. Um, I moved back to South Florida, which is where I'm from. I'm from Miami. And it was there working with one of my celebrity clients. She did all these treatments before getting her makeup done. And that's what kind of inspired me. I had reached kind of like a, a moment in my career in, in fashion that I was kind of, I wanted to do something else. I wanted to do something that was with a lot more permanence. Um, you know, makeup is great, but, you know, once you wash it off, that's it. And it's more of, of, of you know, of an illusion. It's a beautiful thing, but it's, it's very, you know, temporary. Not time. Um, so, yeah. So I went back to school. And I was really, really fortunate after school, I joined a huge practice out of South Florida 
um, for a doctor. His name is Dr. Martin Zayak, and it's Greater Miami Skin and Laser, um, one of the top op uh, dermatology offices in South Florida. And I started there as actually sl like esthetician slash makeup artist, because at that time I used to put on like lash extensions. Yes. And it was really, I had like a lot of notoriety for that. I've gotten writ written up for that. But I really wanted to do this one device. And I started in the practice with one of the layers of my beauty sandwich. And that was, um, that's how it, it, it kind of got started. As I learned more about skin, you know, working for such an amazing dermatologist, um, you know, the head of dermatology for Mount Sinai, for the universities, it's like I went through a dermatology residency myself, because anyone who wanted to become, who wants to become a, a dermatologist in South Florida does their residency oh. through our office. Okay. So a year later, I became his cosmetic director, and I kind of started to lead the whole entire cosmetic dermatology area of his practice. I grew the practice to be top 5% in the nation. So top 200 offices in the United States. And there is where I learned how Botox worked, how injectables worked, how every laser worked. And I mean, we're a very busy practice. We saw between 60 to 80 patients a day. So in that rhetoric, in that, you know, speaking with, with women, especially women between the ages of 25 and 35 that would come in, you know, they would come in for Botox and they would say, listen, you know, I'm here for Botox, but I wish there was something else out there that could help me. I wish that there was, it wasn't a chemical. You know, at that time I was organic, you know, I had kind of changed my life in that direction. And I'm like, how can I continue putting like, you know, I was doing Botox, I was doing all this stuff. So I started to play with the devices until I came up with a really natural alternative to, um, to getting you know, a more invasive procedure. So the beauty sandwich, essentially, it's all radio frequency. So it's the first ever proprietary method to only use radio frequency, custom tailored to help firm, tighten, lift, contour, and define facial features without the use of a laser, a chemical, a needle, or downtime. And how many times do you suggest this session? Is it like, do you have, do you have a six, packages of six sessions or it depends yeah. on the client? So, you know, essentially I started with packages, right? Because the model of this was that, you know, people would yeah. come, you know, they would come five times and they would come three times a year. That's how it was in, in Miami, right? Um, but that completely changed once I came to California. Um, you know, I deal with mostly my, my clients here are in the entertainment industry. Um, and that demands are much different. You have to look good all the time. So all my time. clients come monthly. And then I started to go to New York. Um, I started last year and, you know, I have my clients that I go monthly. I mean, this last trip that I did, I saw, you know, close to 60 patients. So it, you know, the demand is, you know, it kind of changed because if we work out, right, we work out daily or we exercise, we do yoga, yeah. same thing with our skin. We got to maintain the facial tone in our skin monthly. Um, so it's something that you do. What we do, you know, once a month is going to kind of work for the rest of the 30 days, the next 30 days, and then you come in and then it's going to work for the next 30 days. You know, this is what I really like that you're pointing out because, you know, I've been interviewing several doctors and everybody's saying the same thing, that w when you go to the gym every day, you see a result. When you take care of your skin every day, you do see a result. Yes. Some people want a quick fix. So they come and they expect change from one time, which is so not realistic. When I look yeah. at your skin now, I see it's flawless. There's no pigmentation. There's no discoloration. Does, does your pro program um, or like what you do with the beauty sandwich also resolve these issues of pigmentation or is it just tightness and lines? So, you know, I'm all about, that's a really good question um, because pigment is a big thing for me. Yeah. I used to suffer, I'm, I'm, I'm of Latin, you know, descent. I'm Cuban um, and Spanish. Um, and, you know, in South Florida, you know, the skin I predominantly dealt with was, you know, women of pigment, women of color, women that yeah. deal with pigmentation issues. So that was one of the first things that I wanted to, that my method would not, 
you know, exacerbate or cause, you know, pigmentation issues because, you know, when you're so, when you're stimulating too much, then, you know, then that's, that becomes an issue. So my procedure does not help with removing or lightening, um, you know, hyperpigmentation. This is what it does. It is more for, you know, tightening and lifting, but it's a very strengthening treatment. So what I do in my procedure is that it, it builds collagen, it builds collagen and elastin by stimulating fibroblasts, but also you're strengthening the skin because I believe in skincare and in, in products that help to build the mantle of the skin and then the protective layer of the skin. So what happens when you do peels, when you're doing, you know, a lot of this other aggressive things, you are, you're kind of disrupting how the skin's supposed to protect itself. Then you're going to lend yourself to, to like larger issues when you go into the sun, because you then you can hyperpigment, um, you have no barrier, you're going to cause, you know, your inflammation yeah. cascade will go up. So I'm all about this kind of anti-inflammatory method and anti-inflammatory skincare. So it doesn't like, you know, treat it, but you know. It helps it. It, you know, it helps it because it's very therapeutic, it's very holistic and it's very calming. That's what my treatment helps to do is that it really calms down the skin. So, yeah. You, but radio frequency, radio frequency also tightens the skin muscles, right? Of course. Yeah. So my method is three pronged. So I do, um, that's what I call the beauty sandwich because it's layered. Yeah. I read about it. You start with the heated collagen and then yes. you put the blue light and infrared yes. and you yes. tell us, tell, tell me. I'm yeah. Like, so that's how it is. So first, for the first layer is the firming layer. And so it's, um, and that helps to, um, re that really helps with the lower face yeah, yes. and really help with tightening this area, the jowls. Um, so that has monopolar radio frequency and it has blue light. So the blue light helps with uh, bacteria and all of that. So especially now in a time of COVID, my treatment is really safe and effective for that. Also the tip that I use is made of copper. Copper is a natural, you know, anti, yeah. antibacterial, antiviral. So, um, you know, it's a really safe procedure to do, especially now. And then, um, then the second uh, part of it is that I use infrared and then I use bipolar radio frequency. So again, infrared is also very anti-inflammatory, very healing to the skin. And then the bipolar radio frequency helps with the muscles. So it helps to really tighten, tighten these the, areas. You know, the muscles here and here on the face to kind of create that, you know, with the young kids this day, these days called that snatched, you know, face. Everybody's that's looking that's for yeah. a very like, you, you know, lifted have, eyebrow. You have yeah. it. You already have a very tight, uh... Your skin Thanks. is I'm tight, 40, but you're how old are you? Four years old and no injectables. Mashallah, amazing. So, and I like used to do it. I mean, I, I've done it all. So I, I do. do I do now. I do Botox mainly here. Yeah. Because I'm someone that gains weight, so I always have. Uh, I always have cheeks, so I look horrible when I. I don't like to inject fillers. I just become, like, right. too puffy. But I just do Botox mainly. But you know, the, the thing is, I've also been noticing a lot of the Middle Easterns will come to you and tell you, "What do we do about this area here, the double chin yeah. area?" Even if you're not very fat. You're always going to have some sort of like, you know, extra skin here. Does your procedure really help this Yes. Yeah, so that is the main thing that my, you know, clients, uh, especially, you know, my client, my, the women I see in entertainment, um, you know, I'm sought after for um, not only for, for red carpet, because that's kind of like fizzled, yeah, yeah. but what's, um, what's really um, big right now is, um, you know, a lot of cosmetic companies are using little to no um, retouching on their campaigns. So a lot of clients see me before they shoot their beauty campaigns. So I just shot, um, not I just shot, but my client was in the first ever unretouched fragrance campaign and it was for Armani Beauty. Amazing. And if you notice, you know, the, the main thing for her is the jawline. You'll see that very sharp, defined jawline, nothing here. So I really, I spend a lot of time in that area. So for me, where people were like really big about cheeks, yeah, I'm more about a really defined jawline and then a little bit of lift in the, you know, in the outside corners the of the eyes, you know, I'm about that, but I'm huge for jawline. So 
at, you know, I call myself. So it's so know, nice to see a nice defined jaw. It, it gives I mean, character. It's amazing. You know, yeah, the joke with my, it. yeah, the joke with my clients is that, you know, I want, I want them to slice people with their, <laughs> with their jawline because it's so sharp when they turn a, co a corner. Yeah, because That's you know, like honestly, it's not just weight, it's pregnancy, it's aging. This area starts losing, like, I don't know, the gravity or I don't know what it is. Yeah, so, so yeah. it's a combination. The muscles here get weak and then, um, you know, what's happening here starts to like come down. So um, this is an area that always has to, you have to ma maintain its definition and then also fluid, you know, and, and, and inflammation, all of that uh, contributes to a less defined jawline. So this really helps to, uh, to, to, you know, to make that, to do that area. Another thing, what about the, the sagginess around the eye, the extra skin? Does your procedure help with that? Yeah, so I have one wand that's really, really small, and it, can, it goes right into the contour of the eye. That's another big thing for me is the eye area is really, really important, especially like getting that brow to lift uh, and upwards. really getting that, that, you know, that, you know for me, I'm a man, so I like more of a lateral brow. But for women, you know, you want that, that's you know, you upwards. want that sharper upper thing. And I really can get that with, with my tools. Are you against the laser that does the burning on the skin on the top? You know, there's that laser that they, you know, they, to just make. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not into laser. I don't, I'm not saying I'm, I'm against it because I'm really not against anything. Um, I just am into building the skin and not, there's two philosophies when it comes to, to skincare. There's the strip to build, which is the philosophy that, you know, of retinols, chemical peels, lasers, to um, you know, thin out the the epidermis to then get into newer, fresher skin. I'm into building the inside, making that really, really strong, building a really strong foundation, and then protecting the skin, enriching the skin, and um, being very gentle so then that the protection of the skin is always there, and then you're less prone to you know to other to, to stuff like um, that. By the way, you won uh, recently the Hollywood uh, Beauty Award of Outstanding Achievement in Aesthetics, right? Yes, I did. I was really... That's amazing. How do you feel? Thank you. That that's was a, really... Nice. I have to tell you, I was, um, I was so honored. I was so humbled because people won that year with me that had been in this industry in... You know, I've been in this industry for 20 years, right? But I just got to Los Angeles. I mean, I've only been here for two years. So, I mean, to be recognized with people like Kate Somerville that have been in this industry that have had a, you know, a line for, you know, 15 years and have been in L.A. for a long time. It was really, um, you know, I was so honored. And to be recognized, because what's really beautiful about Elizabeth and the, and the whole team at the Hollywood Beauty Awards is that they really recognize the people behind the scenes. You know, before me, there wasn't really, you know, there was Tracy Martin there's Joanna Vargas, you know, they get recognition, but no one really puts them on the same, you know, field as like your hair and makeup. So what happens is that we do all this work, all these, you know, a lot of the doctors, myself, you know, there's a lot of people behind the scenes that, you know, contribute to a big part of what, of what you're seeing on film, on, on, on camera that don't get recognized. So that, for me, that was so, it was so wonderful to have an award that, that you know recognize my work and my achievement um in the in, in you know in in aesthetics for for you know for for in hollywood um so uh, you know i think it's really wonderful what they do they not just hollywood women. worldwide worldwide because you have to come to saudi arabia when things open up hopefully yes no really really I mean, i'm ready the arab women are so into beauty we act, it's, it's ha actually been proven in a study recently that we spend more on, on beauty products than anyone else in the world like really um, and you cannot imagine how much there is so much interest. Like, I, I think my Instagram page has been so much more about skin. And I think with the new age and the younger generation, people are not into fake beauty, you know, the, the extra fillers. Like, I yes. think everybody's looking for, as you said, clean beauty. I also heard you talk about that. I really liked when you were talking about how you're so into non-toxic beauty and clean beauty. And you said that you, it shocks you how people eat very clean. And then they put like, like what they could use on the floors of their house to their face. Yeah. So, you know, it actually didn't hit me. And I was like, oh my God, what are these products? So, uh, and you said something as well that I liked. You said that if you're pregnant and you can't use it, you shouldn't be using it also when you're, when yeah, you're not. Yeah, that was, 
that was one of the things when I when I first got into 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 you know dermatology into that arena you know um, because by trade I'm a, I'm an electrologist and a medical esthetician I'm not a dermatologist I'm not a doctor I'm not making those claims but I did work you know in that in, the field, in that yeah. field for the last you know twelve years you know I ran seventeen dermatology practices in that time I you know I I would ask the doctor I was like why can't we do these why can't we do this if she's pregnant now, what is, you know, what is that saying? Like, then that's saying What's that whatever is being yeah. used is, is toxic. Exactly. It's toxic for you. It's not good for you. So if you can't use it when you're pregnant, you shouldn't be using it at all. I had opinion. Barbara Sturm on the other day and she said the same thing as well. She's like, yeah. I don't see why you should be using this. What do you think of retinol? I want your opinion on that. Um, so I used to be big into retinol. I used to recommend that a lot. Um, and this is what I found with retinol. The patients, because this was, this was what was really interesting about me developing my method and really being able to see. I had joined a practice that was already established for 20 years. And then I was in that practice for 12 years. So what happens is that you get to almost do your own sort of study because you see the patients that were doing retinol and doing the lasers and you saw how they ate, right? So I got them at one point, then they would start like on my program. And then I had the ones that would like only do more natural things. And then the ones that would do the retinol and the ones that were doing the retinol, in my opinion, it wasn't the kind of skin that I found to be beautiful or, or real or, um, or healthy. Um, so, you know, their skin was a little thinner. It had a translucency to it, like yeah. an opaqueness. It almost gets this like neutral tone, I call it, where you're not even, if you're like grayish, right? So the skin becomes to have this like kind of gray, white, translucent color. And especially if you have pigment, I look at photos of myself when I used to use hydroquinone and retinol. I used to have this like very weird skin tone. Um, you know, so retinol, there's a line in, um, in the Middle East um, from, a, from Shifa. I love community. her brand. I even know yeah. her personally. You know her? So, you know yeah, Dr. Lamise and I. I, I, I love her. I, I love Dr. Lamise. So she makes a natural retinol. It's a rose Maroc. Um, yeah, I know that elixir. One. And that product is amazing. I used that last night. And that's a really beautiful product um, because it uses roses as a natural retinol. So those things I'm not against. Um, but I'm not into, you know, I like like using like natural yogurt as like an exfoliant, you know, as opposed to- you do, that, or, you do that a lot or how many times? I do that a lot. So I've been doing that since my 20s. Wow. And that's a long time ago. That's why you have great skin. But by the way, you have like, you don't even, I don't see like, I don't know, I can't see you up close, but you don't even have pores, I feel. Well, yeah, I mean, I have really, because my skin is very hydrated. Okay. Um, and I use very, very gentle cleansers. Like what? Um, no, give us examples. Which I think is like, really important ask. to talk about. Because people use really harsh cleansers. Um, they'll use things like um, with high levels of lactic acid that then like, I don't do any of that. And then what happens is that your pores, when you're, when you, remember, we have a barrier in our skin made of cholesterol, fatty acids, and fat. That is crucial and essential to lock in water into the skin. If you don't have that fat layer, what happens is the water escapes, then your pores are open because they're searching for moisture in the air. Yeah. That's really what happens. Um, so I'm really careful about maintaining that like fatty, you know, layer to my skin. And I don't try to compromise that at all. And I found that that's what, cause people are like, oh, you have no pores. It's like, yeah. I have pores, but they're tight because they're so hydrated. Because here they do a lot of lasers to make the pores smaller. They offer the, the, you right. know, the microneedling as an option to like get rid of pores. But I also feel it's not 100% of a solution. I think it's something that has to be daily, you know? Um, yeah. Another thing I wanted to ask you about, um, yes. What do you do with your hair? <laughs> oh, thanks. I get a lot, Actually, I get I a lot of questions, questions about my hair. Yeah, or is this just uh, good genetics? Um, let me tell you, it is, it's a combination. I do have, I do have good genetics. I don't really, and I have a really good, you know, 
person that cuts my hair. That's like number okay. one because I, <laughs> people think I spend all this time in my hair. My hair takes me maybe five minutes. You know, I don't blow dry it. I like, but it's really the cut. But um, I'm really conscious about using um, shampoos that don't have any SLA, you know, SLS and, and like um, any harsh detergent in it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I don't, you know, I wash my hair like once to twice a week. That's it. Yeah. And I, I found that. Yeah, I don't wash it a lot. You know, I find that that is, is better for my hair. And then I've been using Barbara's, um, she's got the, the new scalp serum. That's really, really good. A uh, uh, Barbara Sturm. So Which I'll use that? that in my hair yeah. um, to style it. Cause I really don't like a lot of styling product either in my hair. But really, because I got like five questions, so I had to ask you. <laughs> Another thing yeah, I get a lot of hair questions. I think I, you know, I think one of my first products will be a hair product because. Um, no, no, definitely. You know. You're like the poster boy for good hair. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> um, I, you talked about a product before I saw one, one of your interviews called Beleza. Yes. So Ooh. Beleza, I'm actually the global spokesperson for that line. Yeah. Um, it's a wonderful line. Um, it's a natural, clean, uh, beauty line. And, um, they approached me over a year ago and I did an event with them and I was really shocked about how much technology was in their product. Um, they teamed with a company called Lubrizol out of Barcelona mm -hmm. that has been around since the eighties. And this company, what is the company that invented the, the peptide. Okay. So they took you know, how to mimic like Botox and all of that. So, and they were the first to ever do liposomal skincare. So to take fat, because what they discovered is that if you take fat and you encapsulate that into a cosmeceutical, then your skin can like accept it, right? It's like CE Ferulic. When CE Ferulic first came out, the reason it was so effective, Dr. Pennell took vitamin C and he took vitamin, you know, he took a fat, a lipid, and he united that. And then that's why that product was so revolutionary um, because he took vitamin E and vitamin C together and it made it more um, permeable to the skin. So they were the first to kind of start with that. And, um, and they had a lot of technology. It was one of the first lines that had actually were like, here's the, here's the white papers, talk to our scientists. So yeah. um, it's a three-step line. And it's all based on microbiome so that, you know, again, you're not disrupting the skin. So just as you have the fat, it's really important that you have these good and bad bacteria on your face. Because if you strip the skin so much and you're stripping the skin of its good bacteria, and then you're not going to, you know, the skin is also going to be out of whack. So the skin should have this really good microflora in it of, of certain bacteria that fights off the other ones. Um, and then my favorite product is they have a mist um, like that protects against environmental aggressors yeah. and then also blue light. So blue light is a big thing. You know, we're always on our tablets and our phones. Phones, TVs, all these things, right? Yeah, that's really important. So that, um, that is a real thing because um, people are, you know, only protect themselves, you know, against the sun. It's really important to protect yourself against, UV, you know, not only UVA, UVB, but blue light radiation because that wavelength really uh, permeates the skin and it does a lot of collagen uh, breakdown and a lot of, um, a lot of damage to the skin. So this product has that. Yoga? It has that. Okay. What do, what do you think of face yoga and the jade rollers and these things? What's your I love that? all that stuff. If you have the time <laughs> to do that, it's amazing. Um, I love to do the jade roller when I have time. I like to do that, um, like put my skincare on, all my skincare, and then roll the jade. So if I'm going to do, I'll do the gua sha first. That's yeah. the way I do it. Also, like I'll gua sha here. I'll yeah. do some, you know, facial massage. I'll put my skincare on and then I'll jade roll Your face. whatever I have in because that helps. And then, you know, when you're working with crystals and when you're working with jade roller, you know, that has, you know, that's a vehicle. So, you know, set an intention for your treatment, you know, when you're doing it. So, you know, set an intention for your crystal. And, uh, you know, I believe in all that stuff, you know. I love that you said that, like, you, I, I wrote it down as well, because I really liked it. And I didn't want to forget what you said. 
you said that you have to love yourself and self care starts from within and yes. that you always come in to with your to your clients with this positive energy and th that also reflects your session and a lot of people i've been watching as well say that they always and reading that they come back to you for the energy and not just the treatment which is amazing for you to have such for people to actually say that that's nice so you come in with good Thank energy you. thanks it's not so really. important i have to tell you um you know cuz i've done it the other way um i know what it's like you know for anyone that's viewing out there i know what it's like to be you know, not motivated, not as self motivated and self and to have, you know, it's so important for us to love ourselves. That is the first person that we have to love the most for us to love other people, and for us to put our best, you know, our best version of ourselves. So um, it's really important when I open my own spa, um, and my own uh, brand that that was a huge part of the beauty sandwich to me, it's like the biggest part of the recipe is that um, when someone comes into my practice, you know, I'm, I'm really searching for what in them can I also help to motivate? Because if I can change the way that they see themselves in the mirror, then that's, that's what it's, that's what it's about. You know, yes, does my procedure have a lot of, you know, a lot of like great backing? And yes, you look amazing, and you look snatched. But the feeling, right, the feeling that you get when you look in the mirror, that feeling and when a woman or man, or especially you know, the women that I see, say, wow, I look amazing. I came home, my husband told me how beautiful I am. He hadn't told me that in like 10 years. You know, I, I look at myself now, I feel great. And then when they come back for their second appointment, they're like, wow, I feel so good. That's priceless to me. And that's, what, that's why I do what I do. Um, so um, it's so important to every day. That's why I say, look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful every single day. It's in my, like every email that I send. Um, it's really important to love yourself because True. if you see it, the things that will manifest for you. are yeah. I think it's yeah. so, you know, everybody talks about, you know, on, on social media, you hear love yourself, love yourself. And everybody talks about it, but you know, it's so easier, much easier said than actually done because to love yourself is a process. And for you to be content with yourself and to be in a good place, it requires a lot. Like I just started meditating recently and started like, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm like, I'm, I'm a workaholic. So I think COVID has really slowed me down and I actually became much more better with my time. I'm performing better. And I started thinking like prioritizing much better than before. I come yeah. by the way from a finance background. So I was an investment banker for like 13 years. And uh, now I'm in retail and, and influ an influencer. Yeah. So my life has gone through different phases in terms of my job. So I was this like stress ball all my life because I'm working in finance. I was always on the go. And it was the hardest time in my life because I was always working, never always stressed out. Once I left this job, which I realized was not me at all, I started becoming more content, more happy, more me. I slowed down. So you're so right about how you should look in the mirror. It, it, I it really... It, I agree. <laughs> it's so important because we, we have the power to control our story. Um, we really do. In a lot of, you know, in, in a lot of instances, it can be, you know, very, you know, we have to get out of our head, get into the moment and be so appreciative for, you know, both of us here. And I'm sure a lot of the people that are viewing are very fortunate. They're very blessed, but it's always easy to say, Oh, you know, it's hard, you know, it's harder at first to kind of say, wow, I have all these things. And, you know, but that's how you have to look at it. I, you know, positivity is really important. And you have to kind of own it and own it and own your beauty. We're all so unique. And meditation is really important. You know, it takes work, because it's hard to look at yourself in the mirror and say, okay, I have faults. And it's not from a place of ego. It comes from you know, yes, I have these limitations. Let me work on those things. But these are all the beautiful things about me. And, you know, I'm so unique and I'm so special. And, you know, that's what I'm going to present to the world every day. And that love that you give yourself, checking in with yourself. And it's not like not feeling things because it's important to feel things. But that's it. Feel them in the moment. Be in the moment. And then don't shelf it. That's my, that's my, yeah. because that's what happens is that, you know, you, sh you start to shelf things and shelf feelings. And then those feelings start to come up for in your life over and over again. And then you're like, Oh, why does this happen to me again and again? 
because you have to just, you have to process that and then you have to love your skin because, you know, this is the skin that we have. Um, it's our biggest and, organ. <laughs> yeah, it's our largest organ. And, you know, that's why I believe in the power of beauty. I think through a procedure, through a skincare, you can get that little boost every day. And we need that, um, especially in, in, in today's world. Um, you know, it's important to really check in with ourselves every day, love ourselves. I and that way we can be better partners, better mothers, better parents, better friends, better people. Um, because if we have love for us, then we can give love. Sure, yeah. You know, honestly, I'm, th I'm 37 right now. And I think I'm 37, but like when I, when I, when I hit my 30s, I started loving me a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. My 30s weren't so fun. I started, <laughs> I started at your age. It's true. I started at like 37. I'll be 44 now in January. You, know, you don't, it doesn't even show. I, I really don't. Like, honestly, my smile, you look great. But I'm, I'm so proud of my age. I'm so proud of my age because at 30, I had like a complete mental breakdown <laughs> because I thought, I I oh my God, my I'm 30, <laughs> you know, I'm like aging. You know, it's when I had first started, I started in like dermatology when I was like, you know, it's cosmetic German, like 31, 32. I did all this Botox. I did all this stuff because what happened was my perception was off. I was chasing. I wanted to look younger instead of looking my best for me. Yeah. When I stopped chasing that dragon and I said, you know what? I'm proud of my age. I'm going to look like the best version, of, version me. of me possible. And I'm going to love myself. That's when I have to tell you, I started to look younger and younger and younger. Um, and, and feel great. But you eat clean, about, right? About Evan, you eat great. clean. Do you eat hmm? clean? You eat yeah, clean. I eat clean. Um, you know, I'm not like a saint. You know, I do, you know, from time to time can, can you know, I'm, I'm a foodie. So I love to go to like, so you, you eat know, meat, not a like, vegan. You didn't go to LA and become a vegan, right? No, I was a <laughs> vegan already. I was a vegan at like 20. You understand? I've been in this health journey. Like <laughs> I, I was a vegan at like 23 years, 23, 24 years old. And now? I was like a raw vegan. Wow. I was into That's juicing cool. and colonics and infrared saunas all since 2003. Because there was like an underground fashion movement that this is what all the models did. And a lot of these... Um, Fashion people did that like back in, in the mid 2000s. Back in then, yeah. Um, so I kind of was in that trend of like all of that. So that's when like it, 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 it first started. Then I moved back to Miami and there it was really like, it was a juxtapositioning because everyone's so, everyone's exposed. It's like the sun, yeah. but yeah. people there eat terrible. <laughs> so people there eat there's a lot of Latins there and they're putting you know i'm lying but they're putting all these chemicals and all this stuff so that's where really the beauty sandwich was born because it was like i needed something as an anti to this and then you when know, i came to miami. la it has such an uh, eccentric flair to it like my husband studied in miami i studied in boston i did my bachelor's and my master's there so boston is like very stiff it's very new yeah. England, you know and then there's miami it's so fun and then la is another world i feel you know it is. I love it here so much. Um, it's like I'm so in my element here because um, what's beautiful about this place is that, um, well, it's, it's beautiful. You have the beach, you have the mountains, yes. you have hiking, you can do, you can do so many things. Um, but what's really nice about Los Angeles is that people really here are searching. Are, it's a true wellness community. People yeah. here are really into wellness and, and looking and feeling better. It's the, it's the both. It's that they both have to be hand together. in hand they come together yeah they come together here and it really for me it was like when i brought my my you know my method here i think that's why it took off so well because it really was the right arena for for it and then new york as well because I'm, I'm very you know By the way, saudi arabia is going to be like and saudi yes i'm so excited to go because you know yeah, now Shalifa i have a wanted to Shalifa was telling it, me that uh, you she was planning for you to come i don't know what happened after she COVID, was planning well covid COVID happened. Yeah. yeah. But, but um, and now I have a nurse to... that yes. um, I've been training for the last seven months. Her name is Dawn. She's amazing. So that I can bring also to, to, um, Saudi. to Saudi with me because, you know, I think that's, that's important to have too, you know, to have a... yeah, but definitely hopefully when things are calmer, we'd love to have you here. We'd love to show oh, you around. You, know, you cannot imagine uh, Saudi has changed a lot the past couple of years and you will not you know, like, 
it's another world. At the same time, there's so much interest in the beauty field. You see how you talk about LA and how there's so much interest? It's the same thing in Saudi Arabia. It's like the, yeah. and it's three big cities. So you, you can just rotate around the cities. It's like an I hour. I love that. I love to travel before, you know, before this, um, the, you know, before the, the, you know, the shutdown in March, you know, I was going, you know, globally for clients. I was going to Paris. I was going to St. Moritz. I was traveling the world, you yeah. know, for clients. So clients would like fly me out and I would spend like a week there. Um, and uh, so, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm so happy to have you on my live. Honestly, thank you so much. Uh, hopefully thank when you. I fly to the States, we'll meet up soon. Maybe yes. Paris or let's just hope this whole phase is over. It and, will. Uh, I, I, you know, I have a lot of um, optimism that, you know. I'm um, hoping we have a, a summer, at least at least next summer would be like, yes. I'm just really hoping with Europe closing now, I don't even know what's going to happen. I know. I and know. I really wish you good luck today, honestly, with the elections. I thank you. Thanks so much. US, you know. Yes, yes. <laughs> Take yeah. care. Thanks, Evan. Thanks Bye. for having me on. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. So, inshallah, I'll give you a live with Iman. Honestly, I mean, as I saw, he gave me some nice information about radio frequency. He talked about the infrared and how to use the procedure for the definition of the hanak. اللايف طبعا هيكون على الصفحه حقتي فتقدروا تتفرجوا بعدين هوريكم فين تقدروا تشوفوا اللايف لانه كثير منكم تسالوني يا ندى فين اللايف حقتك بعدين they are here هوريكم الان سامحوني لو تطالعوا على صفحتي هنا هتلاقوا الصور هنا والتلفزيون هنا التلفزيون هنا هتلاقوا هتلاقوا كل اللايف اللي انا عملتها مسيفه هنا كلها فان شاء الله يعجبكم يعجبك اللقاء مرة كلامه كان حلو It's all about non-invasive procedures and clean uh, beauty يلا take care and نشوفكم اللايف الجاي